I'm about to show you the world's most amazing gaming rig. At least from what I've seen so far, this is an RV that was converted to a gaming RV. So it's not like an RV you live in. This is an RV you game in, specifically for a game called Star Citizen. It is a space simulator. It's actually one of the highest budget video games ever made. I think they're in the millions and hundreds of millions in, in, in money that was raised to develop this game. And it's still currently in beta, but it has millions of players. So I'm sure a lot of you know about this game already. I saw this thing. I was mind blown about how cool it was. And I said, I got to film this so you can show it to some people. I'm David, and I bought this 94 Prevost Luxury Motor Coach to create the ultimate space station on wheels. I guess you would call me Captain Atlantis, is what a lot of my buddies call me online, which is kind of crazy, but cool at the same time. Okay, we interrupt this interview. <laughs> Do you need to run real quick? No, no, okay. It's, okay. Uh, I don't think it's a security alert. Okay. Well, I'm, well, we wouldn't hear it on this one because we're outside. You didn't know this, but there's an emergency hatch that goes below right here, right? Uh, like little dude. secret things that you you create along the way that you didn't plan for in the budget. I'm really trying to put more thought in things and I'll, I'll take time and walk through the ships and take ideas from the actual ships to put them in here. I mean, you're looking at probably 250. 250. Yeah. 250. And this is your gaming rig. This this is yeah. This yeah. is it. Well, so basically, this is the the front lounge of this motor coach. This is a Prevost uh, 40 foot luxury motor coach. It's actually a 1994 model that I've been kind of rebuilding over the last uh, nine months from kind of like a pink. It was just all pink to now into what you see is as a uh, spaceship to play Star Citizen. So this, you would have like, eventually when I'm done with it, you'll have some motion base platform seating here for the two, I'd say gunner engineer seats, depending on what we're doing. Then two VIP seats, kind of the plush leather look. The Kitchener Galley, which I'm still looking for some nice, like bar stools, something to use here. But also, you're gonna have all the recording equipment equipment to do like podcasting and record like events that we're going to do because with the four people that can play the game plus two engineers that could I mean in a sense you could have up to seven people playing Star Citizen at one time in this environment which is kind of the goal kind of plenty of space for one cook to make some food but I also have some you know footage or this is like an original depiction of Star Citizen's uh, Constellation at Atlantis. Well, I call mine the Atlantis, but that's the Constellation series. And we have the Phoenix in game and a couple other models. But anyway, come back this way. So this would be the, the Hab, the Easy Hab, if you will, or Med Bay, which I still have to do a lot of modifications and work to. And it also has a airlock. Um, which I call it the auto wash decontamination airlock. I'm going to put stickers on it and all that good stuff. And then um, further back here is the main cabin, I guess you would call it, where you have three seats. Each seat has its own controls. Um, eventually I'm going to have like different types of flight controls for the second and third seat. The main seat has a complete verbal setup with the, um, the pedals, dual Constellation flight sticks, uh, the side panel with the landing gear. There's a, a seat butt kicker system installed in, in the seat frame. Three 
65 inch uh, Samsung curved TVs that are actually on mounts that when we go to move the bus because this whole thing's mobile right uh, we slide those TVs back in place so they don't rattle together and cause any damage because I don't know if you drive in Tampa but people are crazy so we got to protect our equipment <laughs> and then each seat it still has a lot of uh, adjustments to do but each seat will have a monitor mouse and keyboard and is adjustable to where if you have to get up the the captain in control will be able to access your your equipment depending on you know if we're doing star citizen mining missions or out fighting pirates or picking people up providing air support and air cover there's all kinds of different scenarios not just in star citizen but so many other pc programs uh, you know connect some drones and robots to this truck and it becomes a disaster relief uh, you know mobile command center so it it just depends what you want to do with it well let's go this way i don't think i missed anything the, there's like computer components this is actually a bed that folds out once i get it mounted so it's pretty high that way you can crawl under if you need access but it's a little more sleeping space there will be a, a 35 inch monitor well no that's a 32 inch display there which hopefully I'm gonna I want to have a system to where each crew member will have like a wristband that will connect to kind of like a vest kind of like this has anybody seen these haptic feedback vests so imagine if each crew member has a haptic feedback he haptic feedback vest with a heart monitor and uh, I think it measures like blood sugar alcohol whatever basically like you know EKG for the bus to where we could monitor and then we can be like okay you need to take a chill pill because obviously this game is too intense I mean imagine this whole environment becomes an environment you know so yeah we got haptic feedback suits motion based platforms um, all the essentials giant refrigerator freezer actually two refrigerators microwave there's a stove big sink I guess you might as well appreciate the business end of the truck which is uh, the, the Prevo command center where you drive this actual bus um, and we can take this thing all across the country with the support here at Clearwater Motor Coach uh, we have some of the best maintenance guys in the country so I feel pretty confident if somebody wants me to take this all the way to California we could probably do it with the support system that we have here so it's pretty awesome stuff and a great opportunity to take something classic old school retro Vogue Prevo and turn it into a modern day classic of an arcade video game simulation experience that I've ever seen and uh, yep Star Citizen kind of put me on that warpath of creating this ultimate battle station. I have another motor coach that that is kind of top secret so far but it's all retro game stuff That's so, cool. so you know I have ideas and I'd love to, to build on some of those things. And we do, we do like retro gaming events and events. Yeah. I try to go out and do a, a bunch of events, even if I take a simple laptop and speakers, or if I take some of my other crazy simulators that I build, educational tools and toys, 3D printers, laser cutters. The more I'm able to like take things places and show, you know, it, it's, if it catches one person's ambitions to be like you know what like why am i not doing the thing i want to be doing